Hey, John Smith from SIA. Just showed you the Everybody custom bag gear pros we've got for sale at the moment. Just give you a little bit more demonstration of the depth than the new bear from Prompt products. Now, the deck, unlike the first release series, which was welded on the head tubes, you know, sort of had problems breaking some of them, they've now got taken it to a forged state. So they've forged the deck and the head tube together. The only worlds is where the head tube connects to the extrusion on the deck. Now, they've put an extra deck plate on top, as you can see, it's quite thick. Basically, when you do grinds, stalls, and stuff, it's not going to wear down that quick. Still got the, the bed drop out, which most people sort of like at the moment, they're not complaining. The best thing about the new forge models is the brake. It's not as long, it's like a short, modified, custom man gear brake, like the aftermarket ones everyone uses. It's raw, the team edition deck, it's all raw. Normal Maggie Pro brakes come black, but I hope they look a bit better raw. It'd be nice to energize a couple and see what they look like. Now, the forks are a little bit different. They are painted powder coat of black, that's the bottom part. They're the same as the normal Maggie Pro forks. Lucky enough, they don't come with an arrow. It's pretty good. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, the fork tube is a lot bigger. A lot bigger than the normal Magia Pro forks. The front forks are a lot stronger. And it seems to me that it is Promoly tube, it's not actually a steel tube like the original MGP forks. The good thing about it is, it doesn't have the little hole in the top. So the little <laughs> raise the button. Very good. And that's the MGP. Polished deck, MGP short and break, front fork. Now, what we've got here is bent screw wheels. They call them the slime cores because obviously you put the colour. They don't feel like they're going to be slippery. I haven't been able to test them yet, but I'm sure when they wear down, they should be pretty good. All the Mad Year Protein, they all they all use them and they say they're the good, goodness. Now, they look good, so they come with Crunk K1 bearings. It's another Crunk product from Maggie and Bear also. That's also a product from Maggie Australia. They're pretty good. Now, the clamp that's on there is a bit different now. It's a triple stack clamp, something that we haven't seen from any scooter company in the world. It's not a quad, but a triple, a little bit longer, a little bit more strength. They seem pretty nice, like they'd be solid. Now the handle grips. The last handle grips on the Mag Gear Pro, they were really, oh, I take the skin off after a while. Well, Mag Gear have come out with um, new Pro grips. Now they're really, really soft. They're pretty much, if I could compare them with anything, like ODI, long legs, just with a mad logo, they feel pretty good, can't make tests on there. Also over here, crump bars, and it's 23 by, well, 18 by, just, just normal steel, but tempered, it's got a pretty good Y style gasset on it. The welds are very nice. They look good quality. They've got three slits in the bottom. It's basically because most people don't want them 23 high, so they're going to cut that off anyway. And the quad clamp, as you see, covers up the three slits, making it pretty strong and durable. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the bamp and crunk product, products that Maggie are released at the moment. There should be um, some more coming out soon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're pretty good. Check them out.